Um, how likely is Van de Beek uh, to start this weekend and how has he settled into the club in general? Oh, he's settled in really, really well. Um, he's a smashing uh, boy, great personality, coming in with loads of energy and uh, a big smile every day. And he played, uh, he played well against Aston Villa. So uh, you're likely to uh, to see him. Uh, but uh, of, of course, I'm not going to uh, name the team here today. Uh, I'll have to do that to the to the boys in training after instead. In terms of uh, your aims for this season, top four, of course, were, was your big hope last year. What would you say would represent a successful season for Manchester United this time round? Well, I think we've. We can go into the new season com with confidence, uh, with the way we finished last season. I think that um, that showed what we're capable of, and of course we need to. Uh, uh, we we we've developed throughout the season, and we need to keep on developing. And I think we've shown the potential. We need more consistency, of course, um, but I think with a year more experience, we should be. Uh, getting that uh, consistency and towards the end uh, the it's a group I don't really want to say what they cannot do I think they can they can go as far as they uh, they want themselves Simon Beach. Morning Ollie Hiya Morning Ollie um, As much as there is progress we, we can see that on the field just a couple of weeks ago um, if one glimpse of social media would suggest that there's a lot of fan discontent do you, do you understand the frustration at having only signed Donny there, frustration, and do you have a message for the fans ahead of the new season? Well, I think, you know, fans will always want the best possible team to watch, uh, the best possible Man United team, and that's, that's the, the passion we want. And, of course, the history we've had, we, we can uh, uh, look back 10 years, 20 years, and... Of course, you uh, you look back at the great players we've had, uh, and for me, I think uh, going forward, we need to take a, the, the last since since Sir Alex left, we've been average averaging fifth fifth position. Last season, we got third, which was a big step forward. I think everyone saw the development in the team uh, throughout the season. Bruno coming in. Uh, Harry being the captain, uh, really showing uh, leadership skills on the pitch and off the pitch. Uh, Aaron did really well. So of course we we want to t take a step forward. We want to develop, and we can go into the season with confidence. But we're always looking looking to give the player, the group, a boost, and we, we're work, working on it. You mentioned Harry there um, and the captaincy. Obviously, he had a, a tough time a few weeks ago. How is his mindset? Do you think the appeal will be on the back of his mind? And did you ever consider uh, taking the captaincy away from him? Well, it, that, that, the, the process will keep on going. And uh, knowing Harry, he's, he's a very strong character. So hopefully he can put that apart. But naturally, as a human being, it will be in the back of his mind what's happened this summer. And apart from that, you you just got to... Uh, See and see how it develops with Harry. Uh, personally, I think he will f be able to focus on his football. But then again, who am I to? Uh, how can you? You can't predict how people will react. But so far, he's um, he's trained well. Uh, he's been focused. Uh, so hopefully that process will just go on. And of course, we know it's a it's a. Something that will go on in the legal department over there.